All right, just a real quick video about uh, power supplies and uh, more specifically power supplies for these two devices. Now I will mention when I started this endeavor, I had planned on getting a uh, power supply for the Commodore 64 you see there. I have the original power supply and it does still work, but I don't trust it because that has been uh, the death of many good classic computers is the power supply going bad. Uh, they don't they don't output the right voltage anymore in some cases or or something else will pop inside and it'll surge your computer and ruin it. So I thought it was time to go with a good regulated power supply, uh, a modern switching type power supply. And uh, while I was at it, uh, I came across this one on eBay. If you look right there, this one. Um, what's neat about this power supply is that uh, works great for the Commodore 64, but if you look on the output side, you'll see the output for the computer, but you'll also see a second output, and that goes to these disk drives here. And um, on the very top, uh, this is the 1581. Now this is the three and a half inch floppy for the Commodore 64. And just below it, you have an Enhancer 2000, which was a five and a quarter. And then on the very bottom, you've got the classic, uh, 1541. Now the 1541 actually had the power supply built into the inside and it's it's a lot longer than these other two as you might notice and that's because the the power is in, in, inside the uh, the unit rather than being external like these two units were. The 1541 too is also like that as well. So this power supply actually works for the 1541 2, the 1581, the Enhancer 2000, uh, those are the ones I know about. It may work for others. But uh, if you get one of these two drives, you're, you're very likely to also not have a power supply when it arrives. It's just common that because these things are external power supplies, they get lost and they aren't kept with the unit for whatever reason. So this is a great solution. Uh, you can look on eBay and find these. A guy in Poland made this particular one. It took two months to get here, but that's quite all right because it was well worth the wait. Now, the other thing you might want to consider getting is one of these. Uh, these little adapters will allow you to uh, adapt to a Commodore 128 or a Commodore Plus 4. And it's great for having one power supply do quite a few different computers so you don't have to have a bunch uh, just laying around. So I wanted to mention that. And uh, let me adjust the camera a bit so we can see the front of this drive. Okay, we got a good front-on shot here of the, uh, the 1581 on the top and the enhancer right under it. I just want to show that the same power supply works on both. If you look up the specs, they both have the same voltage and amp draw. So uh, they are totally interchangeable should you have one and not the other. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's power down this one. Power that down. And we'll take the uh, power supply out. You'll notice it's a, a four pin. If you can see it, let's see. Yeah, it's a four pin uh, power supply, just like the original would be. And let's go ahead and put that in the, the other drive here. There we go. As you can see, it also, uh, powers the Enhancer 2000 just fine as well. So just wanted to make a quick video about that in case anybody had one of those drives laying around and they're like, where do I get a power supply for that particular unit? You can get a brand new one. Might as well get one that does both, uh, you know, while you're at it. So, uh, yeah, just, just my thought of the day there. Okay, here's the eBay page uh, that you can get this from. It's the exact same one that I've got. There are other sellers that make similar items, but this just happens to be the one that I purchased. All right, cheers.